In the Buddhist history, few stories are as captivating as that of Upali. Once a humble barber serving the Sakyan princes, he rose to become one of the Buddha's most revered disciples and an unparalleled expert in monastic discipline. Upali's journey from cutting hair to shaping the very foundation of Buddhist monastic life serves as a testament to the transformative power of the Buddha's teachings. Upali's early life was far removed from the spiritual heights he would later attain. Born into a low caste in ancient India, he found himself employed as a barber in the royal household of the Sakyan clan. His days were filled with the mundane tasks of trimming beards and styling hair for the nobility. Little did he know that his proximity to the royal family would soon lead him down a path that would change his life forever. When Prince Siddhartha Gautama, who would later become the Buddha, decided to renounce his royal life in pursuit of spiritual enlightenment, several Sakyan princes chose to follow him. In a surprising turn of events, they asked Upali to join them. This invitation marked the beginning of Upali's extraordinary journey. At first, Upali was hesitant. The life of a spiritual seeker seemed far removed from his experiences as a barber. However, the princes, in their newfound humility, bowed to Upali and requested that he be ordained first. This act was meant to renounce their pride and caste prejudices. Moved by their sincerity and drawn by the teachings of the Buddha, Upali accepted. From the moment of his ordination, Upali devoted himself wholeheartedly to the Buddha's teachings. His dedication and keen intellect soon caught the attention of the Buddha himself. While other disciples excelled in various aspects of the Dharma, Upali found his calling in the intricate details of monastic discipline, known as the Vinaya. The Vinaya is a complex set of rules and regulations that govern the daily lives of Buddhist monks and nuns. It covers everything from personal conduct to community living, from handling disputes to maintaining harmony within the Sangha monastic community. Upali's mastery of these rules was unparalleled. As Upali delved deeper into the study and practice of the Vinaya, he began to understand its profound importance. The rules were not mere restrictions but a framework for spiritual growth. They created an environment conducive to meditation, self-reflection, and ultimately, enlightenment. Upali saw how the Vinaya served as a practical application of the Buddha's teachings on mindfulness, compassion, and non-attachment. The Buddha, recognizing Upali's exceptional grasp of monastic discipline, declared him to be foremost among the disciples in understanding and upholding the Vinaya. This was no small honor. In the Buddhist tradition, such a declaration by the Buddha himself carries immense weight and signifies a disciple's mastery in a particular area. Upali's expertise was not limited to theoretical knowledge. He was often called upon to settle disputes and provide guidance on matters of monastic conduct. His judgments were respected for their fairness and adherence to both the letter and spirit of the Vinaya. Monks and nuns from far and wide sought his counsel, knowing that his words carried the authority of deep understanding and practical wisdom. One of the most significant moments in Upali's life came after the Buddha's passing. At the first Buddhist council, convened to preserve and codify the Buddhist teachings, Upali played a crucial role. He was entrusted with the task of reciting the Vinaya Pitaka, the collection of texts dealing with monastic discipline. This recitation formed the basis for the preservation and transmission of the Vinaya rules that continue to guide Buddhist monastic communities to this day. Upali's recitation at the council was not a mere repetition of rules. It was infused with his deep understanding of their purpose and application. He explained the context of each rule, the circumstances that led to its establishment, and its relevance to the spiritual path. His clear exposition ensured that future generations would not only follow the rules but understand their underlying principles. The story of Upali's rise from a barber to a revered Buddhist master resonates with many of the core teachings of Buddhism. It exemplifies the Buddha's rejection of the caste system and his assertion that spiritual attainment is open to all, regardless of birth or social status. Upali's journey demonstrates that what truly matters is one's dedication to the path and the purity of one's actions. Nichiren Daishonin, 
the 13th century Japanese Buddhist priest who founded Nichiren Buddhism, often drew inspiration from the lives of the Buddha's disciples. While he did not write extensively about Upali, his teachings echo the importance of discipline and dedication that Upali embodied. Nichiren emphasized the need for sincere practice and the application of Buddhist principles in daily life, much as Upali did through his mastery of the Vinaya. In one of his writings, Nichiren states, exert yourself in the two ways of practice and study. Without practice and study, there can be no Buddhism. You must not only persevere yourself, you must also teach others. Both practice and study arise from faith. Teach others to the best of your ability, even if it is only a single sentence or phrase. This exhortation to balance practice, study, and teaching others mirrors Upali's life. He not only studied the Vinaya diligently but also practiced it rigorously and taught it to countless others. His life became a living embodiment of the monastic rules he upheld. Upali's expertise in the Vinaya also aligns with Nichiren's emphasis on the importance of proper conduct. Nichiren taught that one's behavior should reflect one's beliefs, a principle that Upali demonstrated through his meticulous adherence to and teaching of monastic discipline. Lessons from the Life of Upali They see in his story a powerful example of the transformative potential of Buddhist practice. Upali's journey from a low-caste barber to a highly respected Buddhist master serves as an inspiration to practitioners today, reminding them that spiritual growth is possible for anyone who approaches the teachings with sincerity and dedication. Dr. Jacqueline Stone, a prominent scholar of Japanese Buddhism, notes the significance of figures like Upali in the broader Buddhist tradition. She writes, The stories of the Buddha's disciples, their struggles and achievements, have long served as models for later Buddhists. They remind us that the path to enlightenment is walked by real people, with real challenges and real triumphs. Upali's life also offers valuable lessons on the importance of specialization and excellence. While he may not have been the most eloquent speaker or the most powerful meditator among the Buddha's disciples, his unparalleled expertise in monastic discipline made him indispensable to the Sangha. This teaches us that each person has unique gifts to offer and that mastery in one area can be as valuable as broad knowledge in many. The precision and detail with which Upali approached the Vinaya reflect a broader Buddhist principle, that mindfulness and awareness should infuse every aspect of one's life. The monastic rules, far from being dry regulations, were seen as opportunities for practice. Every action, from the way one eats to the way one interacts with others, becomes a chance to cultivate mindfulness and compassion. As we reflect on Upali's legacy, we are reminded of the enduring impact one individual can have. His meticulous preservation and exposition of the Vinaya have shaped Buddhist monastic life for over two millennia. Countless monks and nuns across various Buddhist traditions have looked to the Vinaya as a guide for their spiritual journey, all thanks to Upali's dedication. In today's world, where the pace of life often seems to preclude deep study and practice, Upali's story is a powerful reminder of the value of discipline and focused effort. It challenges us to find our own areas of spiritual expertise, to delve deeply into aspects of practice that resonate with us, and to use that knowledge for the benefit of others. Upali's journey also speaks to the democratic nature of spiritual growth. In a world still grappling with social inequalities, his rise from a low-caste barber to a revered spiritual master continues to inspire. It reinforces the Buddhist teaching that what matters is not one's birth or social status, but one's actions and dedication to the path. As we conclude our exploration of Upali's life, we are left with a profound appreciation for this unassuming yet extraordinary figure. From his early days as a barber to his final role as the guardian of monastic discipline, Upali's life was a testament to the transformative power of the Buddha's teachings. His story continues to inspire Buddhist practitioners and scholars alike, reminding us of the potential for growth and transformation that lies within each of us. In Upali, we see the embodiment of dedication, the power of focused study, and the impact of living one's beliefs. His legacy lives on in every Buddhist monastery that follows the Vinaya, 
in every practitioner who strives to integrate spiritual principles into daily life, and in every seeker who dares to transcend the limitations of their circumstances to pursue a higher truth. As we face our own challenges and aspirations on the spiritual path, we would do well to remember Upali. His life stands as a beacon, illuminating the way for all who seek to transform their lives through sincere practice and dedicated study. In the end, Upali's greatest teaching may be this, that with unwavering commitment and a sincere heart, we too can rise above our circumstances and make a lasting contribution to the spiritual well-being of others.